Okay, I'm going to choose my audience member. This is my brother, Daniel. Here he is. Wave to the camera. Alright. For all the guys out there who have ever had to wear a suit and tie, or for all the girls who have husbands or sons or brothers who have had to wear a tie with their suit, then knowing how to tie a proper tie is extremely important. And it can be definitely something that seems really confusing and sometimes just seems completely daunting and nobody wants to figure out how to do it. And so people end up buying clip-on ties. Well, you can actually tie a tie yourself and it's really a truly simple thing to do. As a kid, I grew up with a mother who worked as a district manager for a men's clothing store. So I got very familiar with having to tie ties. My younger brother, on the other hand, is completely clueless when it comes to tying his own tie. So it's always been up to me to tie it for him. So today we're going to go over the steps on how to tie a proper knot. And we're going to be doing a double Windsor knot, which is a, a standard knot and uh, is usually really good for um, professional looks and interviews, business settings, that sort of thing. So the first thing that you're going to need is your tie. So I've got mine here. And most of the time ties are worn uh, on collared shirts. They're usually worn to cover up buttons. So I've got my collared shirt here. So you're going to want to pop up your collar. And because I'm right-handed, I'm going to start with the thin side on my right with my right hand and the longer side on my left. So we want to pull it up. Now this is going to depend on the length of your tie, but for me my tie is a little longer. So uh, you're going to want to pull the thin side up to where it's shorter than the thick side. So the thick side is going to be longer. Alright, so you're going to cross the thick side over the thin. So it looks like this here. Okay, that's there. Now take your thick side and we're going to cross it around to the other side and pull it out here. So you can see the back of your tie. Now you're going to take it up and through the neck hole and pull it down. And that's going to create your, your V here. Now you want to cover that V. Okay, so we're going to take it out. So this is your thick part still in your right hand. You're going to take it out and you're going to come around the front and you're going to bring it up through the neck hole. So now we've got it up here. Now this creates a little opening in the tie. Okay, so take this piece here that's up through the neck hole and take it down that hole that was created and pull it all the way through. And just keep pulling down like that. So now you have your knot. Now you can take it and adjust it to make the knot smaller or fix the, the look of the knot. You're going to pull on that thick side just to tighten it up a little bit. And to move it up, you take the thin side and pull that down through the hole. Now it's adjusted for your neck. You'll take your collar and place it around. And there you have it. That is your double Windsor knot. So now you are fully equip equipped with the knowledge that you need to go out there and make a rockin' Windsor knot. And you will never have to buy those clip-ons again. Thanks a lot. Bye.